Welcome to this tutorial on using sliders with Material UI. To create sliders, you just go to Material UI Sliders. Here, you'll see two types of sliders you can create, continuous or discrete. Continuous are basic sliders, acting as you would expect, and discrete are the same, except they have small dots to specific values the user can use. Of course, once you've created a continuous slider, you can convert it to a discrete slider by setting whole numbers to true on the slider component and making sure that the parameter has dots is set to true on the material slider component. The dots of the discrete sliders are defined by the min and max values on the slider component. Here, they go from 1 to 9, but we could change that to range from 1 to 5. Using a discrete slider, you'll be sure to only allow specific values. Here, the possible values are 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. In the slider creation menu, you'll have the possibility to easily create other types of sliders, such as a slider with a left label, a slider with an icon on the left, a slider with a label on the left and on the right, a slider with a label on the left and input fill on the right. And finally, a slider with an icon on the left and input fill on the right. The input field can be used to specify the value of the slider. Let's set that to 3, for example. As with the default slider from Unity UI, you can define the min and max values of the slider and set the start value in the inspector. Note that we only support slider with direction left to right for the moment. On the material slider component, you'll see multiple options. You can change the slider interactability, decide if your slider will use a pop-up when changing the value with the has pop-up toggle, you can change the slider to a discrete one with has dots, like we saw before. You can change the animation duration to show the pop-up. The low left disabled opacity parameter controls the opacity change of the left element if you set interactable to false. And finally, you can easily change the colors of the slider by changing the enabled, disabled and background colors. Well, that's it for sliders. Don't forget you can play with them in the example scenes. See you soon for a new tutorial.